Diversity matters because it's an economic fact that having diversity on your board, in your organisation, at all levels, is accretive directly to the PL of an organisation. And as we are still judged on 90 day cycles, um, on how companies are performing, diversity matters at every level. Some of the barriers that I've experienced and that I see to diversity in organisations come a lot from culture. Uh, there's been a lot of focus on tone from the top with organisations, from the regulators. I think that's really improved some things. We've seen initiatives like the 30% Club looking to get more female representation on boards, also very positive. But I think inside organisations, a wholesale change of culture of the values and ethics that drive those organisations is really required in large financial organisations. We lost our way when I started in markets in the late 80s. Your word really was your bond. The customer was first, the company was second and I was third and that got flipped on its head and the global financial crisis was the result of that where everyone was me, 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 me and the company second. The customer really didn't come into the equation. So turning back the clock and revisiting the way we used to be as far as values and ethics I think will have a massive transformational effect inside organisations. It will allow the male champions of change at whatever level they are to be able to act the things they would like to do because they will have the support from the top and it will create a much better pipeline below coming through inside these organisations. Some of the best practice uh, that I've seen enacted has been coming from the law firms, for instance, uh, where they really have a strong policy around uh, numbers, around diversity, and it's not just around um, female-male balance, it's also around ethnicity, it's around disabilities, um, around personality, so there's a very strong program there, and you are starting to see the benefits of those in some of those organisations and how they reported, for instance, around the gender pay gap. Uh, Elsewhere, we're starting to see lots more women's networks and male champions of change networks coming up. I think the next step with those is to really get those much more integrated across the uh, industry versus inside siloed organisations and have a much more public discussion and much more public movement versus everybody signing charters and then maybe doing it in silos internally. We see this in fintech as well where uh, less than 10% of, of women are actual founders of, of companies and less than 4% 4% uh, of them get the funding that they need via these great funding programs through angels and VCs, etc. So there's a lot of work to be done, not just in major mainstream financial services, but also in the fringe technology now that's coming up to support it.